I'm not trying to disrupt your innocent Wednesday, but I'm just trying to figure out if the sun lights up the earth, then why is space dark? Ooh, we've been bamboozled. Nothing about that scientifically makes a lick of damn sense. And I'ma tell you what I'ma do. I'ma pack my bags, I'ma get on a rocket ship, I'ma launch my ass, okay? Out into another galaxy because what's happening in the Milky Way, it's just, it's not logical. It's not logical, I'm not here for it, and I gotta go. All right, but before I pack my bags and catapult into another galaxy far, far away, I have to share what I found at Dollar Tree, of course. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. I let me let me warn you, you are about to see some Christmas stuff in today's haul. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I know I have gentlemen that watch as well. Uh, but let's start off with these which are so cute i've actually been waiting quite a while to see them do like a new style of crossword puzzles it's been a while since they've done anything this cute before like pocket size and these are actually by crown jewels which you know if you're really not into like labels at dollar tree it just kind of means nothing but it's exciting for me because crown jewels always puts out the cutest things at Dollar Tree and I think this is the first time I've seen them do anything on a puzzle level so this one's Sudoku Sudoku however you say it looks just like this really adorable has a really nice texture to it as well um, these are going to be great in a purse here is word search really pretty it's just vibrant you know look at that and then we've got crossword Ooh, the blue is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then we've got another word search. I only found the four in the collection. Uh, most likely, if I had to guess, it's four. But if you know that there are any more, comment down below. You know what I would love to see that I feel like we don't really see at Dollar Tree? Just in case they're listening. Logic puzzles. We see crossword puzzles. We see word searches. We see Sudokus but logic puzzles don't see those um that would be that would be really awesome so found those and then also also i just kind of jumped in without any sort of hello new background but if you have not checked out my media room makeover definitely go check it out i'll link it down below we are upstairs in my house and this is my media room we've got some awesome halloween posters behind me and the way that I decorated it, it was just so fun. I just wanted to come up here and sit in the space and just kind of film in here. So that's what that's what we're gonna do today. So um, moving on. Then I found an entire uh, buffalo check situation at Dollar Tree, and I'm I was so surprised. So here's the plate. You get a charger nice nice looking charger and then you get these little plates that have like the word in the center p.s they also had different options to choose from with the word you could do faith family and cherish i believe so i got the cup and cherish so you could see what that looks like the font is really pretty i wish there were different word options um maybe something like farm or honestly i really don't know I mean, family, faith, cherish is, cherish is kind of interesting. I don't know why they, they honestly went with that, but there you go. So really pretty, plus they also had the dish drying rack. I love these. I've been using my fall one lately, and the one that you saw me haul last time with the fall leaves. I just, you know, dry anything that still is kind of a little bit wet coming out of the dishwasher, um, like my mugs and stuff like that. So, okay. Then I needed, I was in desperate need of more brushes. Every time my niece comes over, we paint every time. But I've been doing a very bad job of saving the brushes. They just end up drying out because usually with her, we're like on the fly and she likes to move on to the next thing. And then I forget to wash the brushes immediately. Then they get all cakey. I'm sure there's a way to probably save them, but I got a pack of new brushes basically and these I'm gonna do my hardest to save plus I needed a bunch of brushes for 
like DIYs that I'm gonna be doing this season. And then I got a packet of the foam brushes. But let me tell you a little trick that you need to know about. These foam brushes are in the tool bench, okay, packaging at Dollar Tree. This is why labels do kind of matter and come in handy at Dollar Tree. Okay, so in the tool bench section, you get eight pieces in here. But if you go in the Crafters Square, um, what, a, what is the brand? Yeah, Crafters Square, they were only selling, I think, four or six. But if you make your way into the tool bench aisle, you get eight for a dollar instead of four or six for a dollar. That little tidbit I found out, because I had the Crafters Square one in my cart, and then as I was passing along the tool bench aisle, I found those and I was just like, oh, they try to do me dirty. So I put up the four or six, I think it was a six pack. Anyways, this, this is getting to be an irrelevant story. I okay. found these new DIY boxes with the clasp. How cute is that? Obviously they're stripped bare, so you could Mod Podge these, paint these, customize them any way that you want. It would be really cute. So I got these as a little um, DIY for my niece. She could just paint them and then she loves like boxes in general. She just likes to move things from one place to another and I just thought it would be really cute for her to paint it herself and then you know she could use it as a little like storing thing for her like little mini toys. So I got these two options for her and then let's see where do I go next? Okay I needed a refill on gloves I'm going to be doing like a huge fall cleaning. I'm going to be tackling my blinds, baseboards, walls. I'm going to be doing the whole, the whole works, okay, that I normally just don't do. So I'm stocking up on cleaning supplies for that. And let's see. Then I found some brand new socks. And let me tell you, run to get these because they're going to be cute for stocking stuffers. I know it's far away, but I like to start early. Little here, little there. And I've never seen these before and they are soft like butter. They're called Snugadoo. Do you see this label? I have no idea. Oh, it says Dollar Tree on the back. What? Dollar Tree started a sock line? I mean, I think that they have some that have like their their logo on it but these are amazing and let me just show you what they look like I think this is a cat but I can't really tell I think this is a deer is that a deer yeah super cute you guys and then this one which I believe is a unicorn the lilac is gorgeous the eyelashes are so cute there's like a little rainbow right there at the front how pretty I love that one and they are just they're impressively soft and then here is this one which I think is probably my favorite the little sheep this gray and pink moment so adorable and this one which somebody tell me what this is is this a hedgehog I can't I'm sorry but I just can't tell I can't tell what the heck that is. This color blue is everything. These are also going to be great for care packages. I'm definitely going to grab a couple of these and put them in for my daughter. If you're new to my channel, hi. I have a mug addiction and I found this one at Dollar Tree. I feel like it's brand new. I definitely have never seen this one at mine before and it says hot stuff on it. That's pretty hilarious. I love how cute it is. And plus, look from far away, it just looks, you know, like a white cup because they did this like monochromatic look to it, which I really love. Wish that it came in other colors too. Then, let's see, I found a little, these little, um, what do you call them, stationary sets. These are brand new as well, and they are completely adorable. You get a mini notebook, two sticky notepads, and a gel pen. And what's interesting is that, um, the sticky notes and then let's open these up pretty quickly see if I can do that here's the notebook and then here are the two sticky notes pretty darn adorable and this one comes with a pink gel pen the next one has a green look to it so 
the green gel pen. Here's the notebook and then the sticky notes. Pretty, pretty adorable and unique. Absolutely love these. Also great for a care package. And then here is this little red set. So the red gel pen. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. Super cute. Wow, it's it's been a minute since they've done anything quite this adorable before from a stationary perspective. And then this one's my favorite because blue is my favorite color. So you get the blue. That one's really cute. And then obviously if you want, you could like mix and match things. And this is one of the best little farmhouse trinkets I think I've seen come through Dollar Tree. What? When I leave the Milky Way galaxy, I'm taking you with me. Like how adorable is that? The, the color selection is perfection with the gray. I love the simple silhouette of the rooster or hen. I don't know. Um, super adorable. Would look great in a the kitchen. They had other options. They had three other options from what I saw, but none of them were farmhousey. They went to my favorite Dollar Tree store and they were starting to put out Christmas and I was not mad about it. So I'm really excited. I found these little wood color your own ornaments basically. But these are going to be great for DIYs. This one's awesome because it has the the deer at the end. I think they're trying to use the deer to shape it in a, into a Y. The ever popular truck with the tree in the back. Anyways, then I found these little craft wood chip decors. And they had other options, but these were my favorite because it has that gingerbread look to it. I definitely need to do something with these from a DIY perspective because I do a gingerbread theme in my kitchen. Really cute. Love it. Really excited. And then I found these, which are, I mean, brand new alert. I've never seen Dollar Tree do this. Recently, they did something, they did this from a Halloween perspective. If you guys saw me haul those paper lanterns with the little LED light. They're doing the same thing for Christmas. They're DIY LED paper houses. What? My daughter's calling me. She probably needs money. Yes. Are you filming? Yes. I'm just only calling you for a second. Do you want to say hi? Hi. They can't hear that. What, what is it? Do you need money? Where were we? Oh yeah, Christmas LED paper houses. And this one is a church. How stinking cute, and that's pretty large. I mean, that's, I think this would look really cute like in an entryway. And then you can see here is the little LED that goes inside the house so that it just kind of has a glow effect. I cannot wait to put this together. And just so you can see again the detail. I think I moved it away too quickly, but there's a wreath and a little tree, snow covered tree there. There's snow covered on the roof. Love the detail. And then I only found the two. I found the candy shop, which I'm, oh my God, this candy shop is too cute. Oh, focus, focus. I love the candy stripe detail on the side. And then there's even a snowman. And then you can see on the windows, all the detail and then the little light in the packaging. Comment down below and let me know if you know what other houses there are to collect, but I went through all of them and only found the church and the candy shop. This last item, I honestly don't know if this is a hell no segment or not. If you're new to my channel, I do these sometimes. I'll throw in one item into my Dollar Tree hauls that I just say, hell no, like I just wouldn't never use this, like buy it. Obviously I, I, bu I buy it so that you guys can see it in the video, but it's not something that I would be interested in and it's just like a hard pass for me. But I still haven't quite decided how I feel about the poop treat molds. And just saying it out loud sounds just like a hard no for me. Just a hell no. Um, but 
they're the classic emojis and they come in the mold but there's just something about that where even though I know it's cake I could never eat it because it's just it's disgusting to me hi uber yeah I had to call because when I went into my app to get my ride it said it couldn't do it and for me to call customer service uh-huh well I need to go from Dallas to another galaxy.